Hello children, welcome back to the English class of 8th standard, second language and I hope all of you are safe and happy at home playing and studying together. So, let us start today's class that is 8th standard, second language, second session of the same chapter that we studied in the last class, the boy who asked for more, written by Charles Dickens, the second part of the lesson now today in this class. So, before that let us just have a look at uh, the practice questions given in the last class and I hope all of you have finished the assignments given also. So, there were some words given asking them to convert into nouns. So, I am giving you the words now. After this there are some questions, assignment questions given to you. I hope all of you have answered it who were present when Oliver was born. Answer for that is there were only two present when Oliver was born, the pauper woman of poor house and the doctor. Second question is, pick out the sentence that says Oliver's mother walked a long distance. There is a sentence containing a particular phrase that meant she walked a long distance. What is this? Yes, it was clear that she had walked. So, the last sentence, her shoes had been torn into pieces suggests you that she walked a long distance. So, the next question is what was the trouble brought by his friends to Oliver? There are friends for Oliver in poor house and they brought a trouble to him. What is the trouble? They persuaded him to ask for more. They, they all gathered and held a council and decided that he should go to the master and ask for more. So, the next question is why did Oliver look pale and thin? He was very pale and thin. What is the reason for it? It was a poor house where Oliver was brought up. He had no sufficient nutritious food and was not taken care properly since birth. So, he looked pale and thin. This has no answer in the text. Such questions to be answered on your own studying the lesson and understanding it. So, kids we have completed the assignment part of the last class. Before starting up today's class, we have a word game. So, this is a very special kind of word game that you have today. What is it? Yeah, the words do appear now here. There are some words which come in a circle. We should not forget the circle form while playing this game. Look at this. Here are some words. School, lake, eagle, ecstasy, yell, leap and pond. And these words are chain linked with each other. You cannot skip, jump or go to the last word immediately. Why? Because I have made this chain using a link. What is the link? Here is a word school. What is the last letter of it? L. My next word starts with the same letter lake, L A K E lake and the lake ends with E and I have taken the next word with the same letter. E A G L E eagle. Eagle ends with E and the next word start with starts with the same E. Ecstasy and ends with Y. Do you remember we play Antakshari? Yes, this is in the same way just like playing Antakshari but I have taken words here. So, what is the fun here? You may ask what is the fun? Yes, there are words. What we are going to do next? Yes, there is a thing to do with these words and what is it? Look at the next slide. Here are some words colored. What are they? Can you make out why, why did I mark them in a different color? Can you look at the words school, lake, eagle, ecstasy? Where did we find us? Of course, in the last slide. And what have I done with those words is I have composed a paragraph using all those words into sentences. So, this whole paragraph including this part is about those words in the last slide kids. On the way to our school, our first word, there is a lake, second word, we swim there and see eagle soaring high in the sky in ecstasy, ecstasy in the santosha, kushi ecstasy of having wings ourselves yelling and playing with each other leaping and bouncing pond in which we bathe and come back home. So, your paragraph starts with school and ends with home. 
so the joy of using words is all those words are used together in one paragraph as a one set of sentences it comes in one theme and this also develops your language a lot your vocabulary will be enhanced after this came children reading is joy and let us read the lesson aloud with tweety today you have tweety with us reading the next part of the lesson from paragraph number 5 hope all of you have got books with you tweety is flying to indicate that this is the lesson time let's go and read children there are some new words that we came across while reading the lesson right we mark down all new words that we connect with and we find meaning for them so such first word is appetite appetite is hasivu then how do you explain what is the meaning of appetite that it suggests look at this bubbly it is very hungry so appetite is natural desire to satisfy our urges especially to have food that is hunger hunger is appetite here in the lesson look at the example sentence normally children do have good appetite here is our second word whisper whispering is pisumatu so how do you explain this hmm the picture suggests you right that how are we going to explain whisper whisper comes with a meaning speak very softly in someone's ear not louder very softly how are we going to use it in a sentence so here is the sentence naren whispered a secret into shaji's ears let us move on to the next word that is certain certain is in kannada khachita khachita andre nirdishtavagi athwa khachitavagi heluvantaddu so how are we going to define it specific but not explicitly stated gottide adre adanna helta illa bye bitu so santosh was certain that it would rain today santosh knew that it would rain today but he did not explain anybody i ah, here comes our next word council or sabhe council andre sabhe sadasyaru athava karyakartaru ottu gudu anta sabhege council anta heltivi na so how do we explain this council as i have already told you in kannada look at this there is a council in your school also right you have a committee or a council you have members in it and you work for school development so that's how this is also school committee a body of elected members so this is a council how are we going to use it in sentence the council of local authorities must be active to achieve developments let us move on to the next word supper children there are three types of food intake that we majorly note as breakfast lunch and dinner breakfast tindi lunch uta dinner ratri uta in between lunch and dinner there is an evening time where we have where we munch some snacks or some light food we take that is called supper before dinner that is supper ratri uta so this could be your supper a light food very light food so i have already told you the explanation is light informal evening meal that's not formal dinner is the formal meal so supper is the informal light food in the evening so here is an example sentence for you where it says rajiv prefers fries and juices on his supper gruel ganji athava ambali to have a look at this so this is a light thin food made up of yes here is the explanation a light a thin liquid food made up of oatmeal or rice boiled with milk or water anything we can mix milk or water we boil it and make it a gruel or we also call it as a porridge we usually call it as porridge also how to make a sentence nishant had some bread and gruel in the afternoon what did nishant have he had some bread and gruel in the evening next word is seize that is bandhisu athava hididukolluvudu bandhisu athava hididukolluvudu you know where was it used master seizes oliver for asking more so that's where the word is used so look at this picture also child is trying to hold its play things so that's how it is take hold suddenly and forcibly forcibly with police yes immediately we remember is police right catching hold is police itself police seized the thief by his collar 
tightly, very tightly, seizing tightly. Children, enough of new words that we came across and understood the meaning also. Now, this is time to understand the prose part. We are left with the second half of the prose. So, we shall study that now. I have made some points out of the text so that we can easily look at them and understand. An evening supper time, the master was serving gruel, thin gruel. So, it was an evening at poor house and master was serving thin gruel. Oliver and his friends never had belly full, belly full is hotte tumba, never had belly full and a bigger boy suddenly stated that it was not enough and if not given more, he may end up eating little ones next to him. So, children when compared to the elders, kids will have a very good appetite or the hunger rate. So, obviously, one of the big boys out of the group might have thought that he should have more gruel. So, what did he say? You give me the gruel more or else I will eat the boy next to me who is standing in a lane. He had a wild hungry eyes. So, little ones were frightened and held a council to ask more. Children next to him standing, no? Look at this picture, I will tell you. He is the boy who is asking for more with the master. But there are smaller kids next to him. What he said, he will eat them. So, they were afraid because he was very cruel at that moment, had hungry eyes. So, what did they think? He would really eat us. So, like we shall hold a council, we shall hold a meeting of small boys and select one to ask more. That is how Oliver was chosen to ask more. So, you can have a clear look at the picture where all boys are frightened and master also was wondered. Look at this pig kid. This is how Oliver was standing. We shall move on to the next point. Oliver was appointed for the same to ask for more. The next moment of council held, children were gathered in a group and discussed and decided who has to go. Oliver was chosen. Oliver was chosen and he was sent. You know how was Oliver? He was very thin and pale and a very weak guy. But he was chosen because he had some courage. He asked the master for more gruel. Immediate after, what did master do? A fat, healthy master turned pale and gave a blow on his head called the beetle to handle the issue. What is this? Big blow on his head. He gave a blow on his head. He punched him on his head and said, you need more gruel. Wait. He called beetle. Who is the beetle in the chapter? Do you remember his name? Yes, you are right. That is Mr. Bumble. Mr. Bumble immediately came into the poor house to solve the issue. It was a crime according to them, of course, asking for more. Children, tell me one thing. When you are so hungry and you ask your mother, you are very hungry and you need more food, what your mother does? Your mother feels very happy for it, right? She says, oh, you are eating very well today. You can have one more roti or one more chapati or some more rice to have. But here, it did not happen so. Here, it was a crime. They considered asking for more is a crime. Dundu dushtatana. So, Mr. Bumble, according to Mr. Bumble, exclaimed, thinking that boy would be hung for his crime. Hanging, hung, hanging is nenu bigyudu. So, for asking more, boy may be hung. Jasti keli daunanna saisi pidu pohudu alli. This was the situation that Oliver was facing. Look at this pic, you will know master is serving, Oliver is asking for more and what is he doing? He is holding, seizing him, seizing him by his collar and taking him to the beadle. Next point, for his greed and boldness, Oliver was locked in a room alone that night. He is a small kid, 9 years old boy and you can just assume that how was he? Very small guy. And what was the punishment for him? The punishment was locking him alone in a room. It is a very cruel punishment, right? So, what next? What could have happened to Oliver? Look at this. Next morning, there was a notice hung outside the gate that anyone who takes Oliver out would get a reward of 5 pounds. And look at the pig also. This is how outside the poor house, there was a notice. Anyone who takes Oliver out of 
poor house will get 5 pounds reward so he was for sale the poor house was ready to sell him more for 5 pounds there was no value for life in the poor house he was immediately sent out children here is some explanation regarding the continuation of the story the novel oliver twist it's not given in the text but i just give you the hint that what happened to the life of oliver twist next after that gruel issue after encountering many ordeals the story ends with a happy note though he witnesses many misfortunes on his way at the end oliver ha lives happily with his beloved people ever after maybe oliver faced lot of difficulties in his life but at the end he gets his share of property and he lives happily with his fellow mates so it, this is a happy ending story kids so here is an explanation for that for you present prose is the ex excerpt from the novel that we know we read it already we know that it is from novel once he is out of the poor house he was apprenticed with a coffin maker from there he runs away to london eventually it is a happy end story after a great struggle oliver gains back his part of wealth to live happily with his well wishers so he was apprenticed he was working with a coffin maker coffin is henada pettige adanna maduvantavaru coffin maker apprentices him with him so he works with him for a very long time and after that he runs away to london he gets into the hands of thieves pickpocketers there and he suffers a lot after a long way of suffering at the end he gets his wealth and property back so he lives with his friends that's how the story of oliver ends let us check our comprehension today that how better we have understood everything so here is your question what did the elder boy ask for this is in paragraph number 5 children you remember i an elder boy asks for something what did he ask for can you make out by the pick pick is the hint for you always yes you are right the elder boy asked for more gruel stating that he would end up eating the boy next to him in hunger who was chosen to ask more in the council held that night who was the one yes you know by the picture who is it little oliver was chosen to ask for more in the council of children held immediately here comes your next question how did the master react to the request of oliver what was the reaction of master hmm do you remember what did he do yes you are right in horror master aimed a blow on oliver's head and seized him by arms and shouted for mr beadle what is the punishment that oliver got on that night all of us know what is the cruel punishment that he got as a punishment oliver was immediately locked in a room to spend the whole night alone kids can you see hexagons present here and you know what are they by the last class even in the last class you had the same hexagons presenting few words in them very well know that it is related something to your audibility of course you are right listen to me carefully and find the difference even today you have the same exercise you need to listen to me nothing else i will read the words you need to listen to them properly and find the difference what is the difference between them so shall we go to the first hexagon and first word what is this under bud shut mug plus up come to the next one in this hexagon there are some more words again i pronounce them listen carefully earth dirt heart shirt bird turn could you make out any difference in pronunciation under and earth under has a small sound earth has a long sound a a can you make out the difference a and a bud turn bud comes with a small sound turn a bit longer sound so the difference is nothing but a sound of one syllable a sound of two syllables are present here single syllable is one letter that could be pronounced in single syllable sound that is immediate sound two syllable sound is taking a little longer sound little longer while to pronounce the word that is like earth earth not earth it is earth so let us unleash what is there 
yes this is the phonetic symbol for single syllable sound a uh, and this is the phonetic symbol for double syllable sound a uh. so that's the difference between pronunciation and i hope all of you would try to list out more words based on the same sounds so we shall move on to the next segment of our exercise that is complaining and of course sometimes complaining also plays a major role in conversation when you need to show somebody's inappropriate things but this doesn't mean that we need to be very harsh while complaining we should be very polite and soft though we are complaining regarding anything next to us so there are some chosen pattern of sentences that start as while complaining you can add your part of sentence next to it second part of it so what is it i am sorry to say this you can add even your own sentence now for example i am so sorry to say this that your speaker is not working properly same way we have a second sentence i would like to bring it to your notice maybe you are part of sentence saying that i would like to bring it to your notice that you are causing inconvenience by grabbing hold of my book or pen i am sorry to trouble you but i need to say then you can add your own sentence i am sorry to trouble you but i need to say that you are causing much noise here so to be silent look at the next sentence i wonder you could help me on this by parking your vehicle little apart from mine so somebody is parking your vehicle next to yours you are not able to take it out then you can complain them very politely look at the next sentence i hope you wouldn't mind me saying that you are creating much noise here next part of the sentence is wouldn't it be a good idea to have lesser crowd here you go inside a bank and you see a lot of people all together once and you want to complain regarding that how would you complain wouldn't it be good idea to have a very few people in the queue in front of the counter so though it is a complaint you will be very polite while saying this kids these are some examples that i have given you to complain start a sentence that is complaining you can have much more of your own patterns and you can try that so we shall move on to the assignment part here are some questions that are given to you and i hope you will answer all the questions given who were always hungry and never given enough food to eat who is demanding person why was a council held so why is reason why the council was held why did mr bumble rushed into room in a great excitement mr bumble runs into the room rushes into the room after knowing something what is it you need to say children one more question for you which has multiple options for it so the question is in the sentence as a punishment for his greed and boldness whom does he refer to so there are options to answer one is mr bumble second one is master third one oliver and the fourth one is doctor there are four people out of these four what is the answer for this he children who doesn't want a very good handwriting all of us love it right so today we shall learn a few techniques of handwriting taught by mr ashok tekatte government higher primary school heskatur kundapura block udupi let us concentrate on the handwriting skills taught by ashok sir have a happy time with him hi this is ashok tekatte in this video i have tried to show you the process of writing italic style of english handwriting italic style of writing is very neat legible clean clear and beautiful it is very close to the print form it is psychologically sound and scientific it has global acceptance and relevance as most of the countries in the world follow this style it also facilitates speed writing 
all lowercase letters are slightly slanted to the right side and all are one stroke letters. We can see oval shapes, triangles and slanted lines in these letters. Decorative writing, flourishing and loops are not allowed in this style. While writing uppercase letters, we need to focus on strokes. What's a stroke? While writing, once after putting the pen on the paper, whatever we write before lifting it up is considered as a stroke. These uppercase letters can be categorized as one stroke letters, two stroke letters and three stroke letters. You can watch the way each uppercase letter is formed here and you can easily categorize them as one stroke, two stroke and three stroke letters. For a good handwriting, similarity in the size and shape of each letter, uniformity in slanting, proper spacing between the letters, words and lines are very important. In the initial stage, we need to practice with the help of lines in the copybook, which has four supporting lines. Later, we need to shift to lined notebook, which has only one supporting line, and at last to a blank sheet, which has no supporting lines. If we are able to practice the letters with right size and shape, slanting and spacing without the help of any supporting lines, we can say that our handwriting is good. In order to practice all 26 letters of English alphabet, we can practice writing some sentences which consist all 26 letters. If we practice writing these sentences, it gives us an experience of practicing all 26 letters. For example, the brown fox jumps quickly over a lazy dog. This sentence has all 26 letters. Children, we are almost at the end of the class today. So you remember the pattern kids? So, in the same way, you have to frame a story or a poem kind of composition in your own words using the words given here. So, first word is monkey and what is the last letter left out? That is Y. So, what is your next word? That is Yar and what is the last letter of it? D. So, what could be the next word that starting from D? It is drive. Yes, I want you to build up a story based on this, not only using these three words, you also have to list out more words adding up to this. That means, drive, the last letter is E. So, start a word with E and then again go to the end, end letter of it and that is how you have to go building the story, making it bigger. Try kids, as always it is said to you, kids, here is your textbook, page number 60 where your lesson starts, here is a QR code and you need to scan this QR code with Deeksha app to get more activities based on the same chapter and you will find interesting videos also to watch regarding the chapter to understand it very well. So, hopefully all of you enjoyed the class and we shall meet in the next class. I wish you all the very best and have a good day, stay safe, stay home and study well and do not forget to meet your teacher time to time.